You spend ten, twenty, or even thirty thousand dollars on your kitchen remodeling project, and you will be unhappy with it. Mistakes waste your time, money, or both. But sometimes you don't have the resources to correct your mistakes, and they will nag you for years. Here are the top ten kitchen remodeling mistakes you should avoid. What do you think will be the costliest to fix? Number one, wasting space and time. When you have a lot of space to work with, you may be tempted to create a kitchen layout with wide open spaces. While it may look nice, it can become a logistics nightmare. You don't want to waste time and steps getting from the cooking area to the fridge to the sink. Create your design around a tight kitchen triangle where the sum of the sides is not more than 26 feet. Number two, too little space in the aisles. When you don't have much room to work with. You may be tempted to leave too little space between counters and islands. If you ever intend to be in your kitchen with someone else, then make sure you leave room to move around. A great rule of thumb is to design the aisles between walls, counters, and islands around 42 to 48 inches. But you don't need to follow the rules. If you don't have enough space, then narrower aisles are okay. In my own kitchen, I have one space between the island and the opposing counter that's only 28 inches. But when you go against the rules, ensure you test it and you don't have to fix it later. Number three, think in 3D. Often, people plan their kitchen from the top-down view and only see squares and rectangles. But your cabinets, oven, fridge, and microwaves all have doors that need space to open. First, you need enough space to open everything. Next, check if you have opposing items that could be opened at the same time. For example. The dishwasher and cupboard to store tableware should not block each other when unloading dishes. Number four, oversized islands. In a large kitchen, you may want to add a space for working and storage in the form of an island. Don't overdo it. If you have anything that's longer than 10 feet, it's hard to walk around. Also, if your island or countertop is more than four feet deep, then it's hard to reach the middle or the other side. Think about it. You have a pot on the other side of a five-foot-wide island with a length of 10 feet. You have to pack a lunch to get it. Number five, squeezing too much into a small kitchen. Sometimes your ideas are bigger than the space you have. Cut back relentlessly. Overwhelming your small kitchen with too much stuff will make you feel cramped. Think about having to endure that feeling for years. Eliminate some cabinets. Make use of a peninsula instead of an island. The space will feel more open, and you will be happier with it. Number six, changing your plan after the work begins. If you have made plans and already paid for materials and work, then changing the original plan will cost you extra. Sometimes it may be a lot more. For example, when you have to change the plumbing. But and there is a big but. If you really feel you need the change, then do it as early as possible. The more work that is completed, the costlier the changes. Number seven, not enough storage. No matter how much storage you have, you will eventually run out of it. But if you start out with an adequate storage space, then you have to store things in the open on your kitchen surfaces. This limits your working space and makes you uncomfortable whenever you have to prep something. You may have to add more cabinetry that is not part of the original design. This will look out of place and cost more. Here's a bonus tip. Avoid the mistakes and use a kitchen remodel checklist. I created a checklist to make sure you avoid mistakes and save your money. Click the link in the description to download the checklist. Number eight, space for more than just you. Kitchens tend to be places where people congregate, even if there's enough space in the connecting dining room or living room. I mentioned that you need space between the counters and walls. Also, make sure that your peninsula or island has enough overhang to comfortably seat three, four, or even more people. Arrange for comfortable seating close to the area where you work while prepping a meal. Number nine, being too trendy. The quick trends change in a year or two. You wouldn't want to use those in your design if you don't plan to redo your kitchen every other year. Then there are longer trends that last for a decade or more. This is something to aim for. 10 to 15 years is a time frame for how long your remodel will last. Perfect for the next complete overhaul. And then there's the timeless kitchen that will serve you for decades. However, the design can be timeless, but the materials usually aren't. And number 10, design over function. I have this problem with one friend. Her home is so beautiful, 
It seems to be straight from the Interior Design magazine. If it would be a museum of modern art, I would give the kitchen a top score. However, when you have to live in it, then some pretty glaring flaws become distracting and annoying. That piece of art's seating isn't comfy to sit in. The hardware on the kitchen cabinetry is so trendy that your wet hands slip right off when you try to open a door. Ergonomics is more important than design, so choose accordingly. You guys remember what I asked you at the beginning? What is the most expensive mistake? Choosing the wrong layout is the biggest mistake. The first five mistakes are all part of the underlying problem of designing a wrong layout for your kitchen. If you have to fix that, it will cost you an arm and a leg. Tell us in the comments what has been your biggest remodeling mistake. Please like the video and subscribe to get more tips for planning your dream kitchen.